Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. I'm going to make use of the uh, charcoal in my forge. I brought a grate over from the uh, stainless steel grill our friend Alex sent us a long time ago for a big party he sponsored for us and uh, I'm going to cook a couple hot dogs I guess so that's the plan here all right I've got Highland gold beef franks supposedly made with Angus beef be a good trick here but you never know Feels pretty hot. Should work okay, I guess. I still like them boiled better than grilled. But we're in a grilling mood today, so that's what we're doing. And all we have to go with it today is I bought some white sliced bread and I uh, had some pretzels. That was a couple pretzels with it. I think I'll take a lactose pill because the, all the bread here is made with powdered milk. Keep me from getting sick. Alright, I'll get back to you in a minute. And I put one, one brick on top of the forge. I don't know if it's going to be too hot. I think I might have to take it off. Might not be hot enough. The problem with this here is I need to rig it up different so that I can have a couple half blocks in the um, area so I can uh, have a little vents in there for when I do do charcoal. I have air blowing in obviously in the when I'm using the forge, but let them go for a couple minutes here and see what it what it does. It seems real hot to my hand, so. It's nice and glowing. You can see there it's pretty good looking charcoal really. Hottest over by the opening. That's where the it's getting a little air. Yeah, it should be like four little vents in there though for the actual charcoal wing. I think anyway. But again, we're playing it by ear, guys. I have no idea what to expect. So, it's the first time I used the forge for grilling. Yeah, I think I'm going to lower it down just a little bit. Yeah, it's not even hot on the end here. They're sticking a little bit to the grate, so it's got to be pretty hot, I guess. Whew. I'm hot, I'll tell you that. Haven't had a hot dog for about three months. Yeah, they're cooking now. There we go. Starting to curl. That one's getting brown, black. 
Yeah, it looks good, huh? Not too bad, huh? Not sizzling yet, but they're browning up. My wife came over. Hi. She decided to add some sweet potatoes to the mix. I lifted the grill up and I told her to throw them in on the coals. <laughs> She's like, she threw them in the coals. She goes, I want them on the grate, on the on the top. I decided to reach in there and pull them out for her. <laughs> it looks delicious. That's a good. That's a good idea. I already did learn this, Daddy. It's from my brain, hon. I got all kinds of weird knowledge in my brain. That's good one. The heated up metal glowing red. Really? With that blower, yeah. Oh. Just like a blacksmith. I, I could make stuff now. Don't you remember my old one I had? I had one in the back a long time ago. I had one in the back. I fact, I had one right over here that we that Shannon used to help me with. Ah, and you cook and you cook. When you cook bread? When I cook bread, no, huh? When I heat up metal to make metal things. Oh. Made a spear the one time. Mm. <laughs> you don't have a clue, do you? <laughs> she doesn't pay attention to anything I do. Big surprise, huh? Next time that I will cook fish. Huh? Fish and shrimp. Yeah, after the next, next forge, fish, or like I say, you can just get your other grill going anytime you want. I got a whole bag of charcoal, so. It's only 200 pesos for a bag. Oh. $4. Big deal. Hardest thing is getting in the car and not getting the car all dirty. Mm. And you can put it in here, put some wax paper underneath it, start it up, put the blower on it, five minutes later it's ready to cook. Oh, saw how fast the blower went on that, didn't you? She saw the she saw the blower when I was <laughs> she, obviously, she doesn't know what I'm doing. What any, any idea what I've been doing here? But, uh, this is the first time. I Marf, saw. he's just amazed at the the weirdness that comes out of my brain. She was shocked the other day when I took a paint can and a lighter out because we had some wasp problems, and uh, <laughs> yeah. I made a flame flamethrower. Her and all her friends, they just they couldn't believe it. Killed the wasp all in a second. <laughs> I laughed so hard. It was good though. Because my friend said it, they're using the Bluetooth. Bluetooth. No, it's not the Bluetooth. Bluetooth, what are you talking about? The spray. They say that's the Bluetooth. That's the Bluetooth. Huh? <laughs> I, like, I like to laugh so hard, but I don't know why they tell.
Thank you.